All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Dave again. <clears throat> Just wanna show you, uh, putting on the ZRP dog bones. I've got these on the four seater over there. So I've been testing them, I'd say. You've been using them for about four or 500 miles at this point uh, on that car. And it's definitely something that I think that you should do for any of your X3s. It just it really tightens up the rear end and makes it feel like it's a lot more stable and well put together. Uh, and it, you know, frankly, it makes taking the radius rods off, you know, on and off a lot easier. Yeah, you do have to have, I think you have to have aftermarket rods that have, you know, Heim joints because you're basically replacing one of the misalignment spacers, uh, the, <clears throat> the chassis side misalignment spacer with this. But, you know, overall, I think it's a really good, really good option and something you should do. And I'll show you the difference between, you know, kind of before and after on uh, what a brand new car. So we'll go do and take a look at that right now. So I'm gonna just pull the, this factory pool plate off. <clears throat> and you know, so as you can see right here, so the only, th only faster that you've got joined together right here and you can still see all the play, you know, that's in that is the top one. The other one is, you know, this is, that's what you're working with. And, you know, that's what, uh, that's the nice loose rear end that <laughs> um, the K&M has set up from the factory. So, you know, I don't know if it's, you know, I don't know if it's a big deal. Maybe it's just something else to buy or something else to sell if you're ZRP, but let's check out what the difference is and, you know, kind of. All right. <clears throat> All right, so got them on. Uh, and the big difference, the thing you'll notice is, is like we don't have any play, you know, in these things anymore, right? There are, <clears throat> there's a tiny bit there. No, I, like, I just can't get the top tight. But, you know, versus these things flopping around and all like sliding and moving and all that kind of stuff. Before, um, there's a significant difference in, you know, kind of how the rear end even feels on the car. I've definitely noticed that it feels more, um, it doesn't feel like there's as much unnecessary the movement. It feels a little tighter, a little less sloppy ultimately and so it's something i really like something i think you should do all right hey what's up guys uh got the dog bones on the pool plate on the radius rods on tow link support everything's done take me about uh right around two hours two hours and 30 minutes somewhere in there i'm not good about keeping track of time in the garage um so everything's tight everything's been torqued down to spec and one of the things that I like to do, uh, I'll show you the pull plate and the dog bones and the radius rods kind of maybe in detail. Um, I don't know that I've seen like a lot of detail. I like like, okay, what does it look like? What's it supposed to look like? Uh, type shots, you know, if, if possible, because it makes my sleep a little bit easier at night. Um, one of the other things I like to do though, whenever I've tightened down all my fasteners and all that kind of stuff in order to, you know, um, I use this cross check torque seal. Right, and so I'm sure there's a lot of big fancy industries and that type of stuff that do it, and not some you know geek with his side by side in his garage um, out there, you know, goofing around and having a good time. But it gives me a quick visual indication on, you know, did that fastener move? And you know, if it did, I should probably check it, right? So the pool plate, and then all the um, nuts on the heim joints and all that type of stuff. It's it's a good place to use it. I've, I've used it on the other car and you know, it, it hasn't let me down and, and it's just that extra peace of mind because you know, I'm not I'm not running a race team here and, and I'm not the guy that's going to be out there. Um, as much as I would like to think of myself as somebody like that, I'm, I'm not going to be the guy that is always checking every single fastener on the car. I'm happy if I check the lug nuts and the tire pressure, you know, before I go out, you know, and run the car with all the other type of stuff and all the other things that I gotta do in order to be able to get out and, you know, just enjoy being able to go ride and enjoy these machines. So it's something that I like, I think you should do. It's super cheap, it's super easy. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, first here's a detail shot of the ZRP pool plate and their radius rods these are the cheapest ones they make um and then that's what it looks like in there with the dog bones installed right so you got a nice beefy radius rod area i'm not going to say rear end um on the car now it's it's super firm it's super snug and there, it just eliminates a lot of the play 
uh, that the factory rods have. You know, long term, I've only got a couple hundred miles on my other set, on the other unit, uh, but so far so good. And you know, the rear end stayed tight. All right, so I just like to go through with this cross check torque seal. Uh, why am I using orange? Because that's what Amazon had. Um, and then I just like that you just put a line, you know, on the fastener to the bolt, right, on every single one. And then you know that if the fastener moved or the bolt moved, and go through and do the same thing for the heim joints a little touch i like that zrp puts our flag and made in the usa it's uh super cool they run extra machine time or at least laser engrave all these things to be able to do that so thank you guys for doing that And that's it. I'll actually go out and um, I'll actually go out and do it on the outboard side too, at the hubs uh, or the knuckles, whatever, um, just to be able to visually inspect those fasteners really quick too. While I'm walking around the car before I kind of like a little pre-ride check that I I always do. I always do um, before we you know we ever go take the cars out. I at least like to look at them. I do put my kids in these things. I'm gonna have some reviews on or, or at least a quick video on hey what is this you know hunter safety i got the two of those hunter safety products uh kid seats they looked really nice they they're gonna have better containment than me i don't have seats yet uh but you know it's that's probably next on my list of like big purchases for for both cars is you know a set of seats probably gonna go with prp just uh it's because i've got prp harnesses so you know why not um but yeah so you'll see a review on those hunter safety product seats i, I really haven't found anything out there on on those and that's that's really why i'm making these videos is like you know this was stuff that you know i was looking for for myself and i hadn't there was no way to actually be able to see hey you know what's this look like or what's this do i mean okay the radius rods and the pool plate yeah but uh all the other material or a lot of the other stuff you know you don't really see a lot of videos on or you know how to's and uh, man i'm i really am the last dude that you know should be making a how-to video on anything on these things but uh at the end of the day you know it's it's necessity is the mother of doing something. So yeah, thanks guys.